Well, good afternoon. I am in the process of making my Westinghouse stand-up freezer. Where does it say that? It shows it on there somewhere. Yep, anyway, I'm going to make my freezer, my stand-up freezer. This is a freezer. And I'm turning it into a refrigerator. And on some things, you can just adjust your thermostat to uh, a lower setting, and, and that'll make it a refrigerator. Unfortunately, this isn't one of those. So I am actually going to cut a hole. I've already started. I've drilled a 3 8 hole. Now I'm going to take my handy-dandy saber saw, and I am going to cut a hole. I'm not going to videotape that because, just because. So I'll get back to you when I get that hole cut, and I'll show you what's next. All right, so we got the hole dead cut. So the, that thing there nicely fits in that hole. So now what we've got going on is these are the wires that come in. This black wire is the one that comes from the wall outlet, which by the way, this is unplugged. The center of that is the ground and then the outside is positive and negative or neutral and hot is uh, the proper. So, and then these blue and white wires, the big two, let's get back in there. That blue and white wire go back in there to the compressor. Okay, uh, wiring on your household appliances, especially on these older ones without digital, is pretty straightforward. So this other blue and black wire that comes out the other side of that, that goes up, or went up, to the old thermostat. And when it gets warm in the freezer, it would connect those two and turn on the compressor so that it cools it back down. So we're going to use those two wires, this blue and black, um, and then we are going to use, we have to juncture off of this hot wire and neutral wire, and that's what powers our little box. And then it actually came with a sensor. I'm going to get my sensor up here. It came with a sensor, and that sensor has uh, two wires. So those two wires get hooked into the back of the sensor, uh, into the back of the unit. Now I'm going to get all my wires all set, and then we'll pick right back up from there. All right, I wanted to show you what I did here before I seal this up. This is just a tri-connector. I got in my local hardware store it cost me 85 cents I got two of them one will be for the neutral side and one will be for the hot side and I know this is neutral because that little white dash right there and then when I look at this plug from the side you see how the neutral goes in next to that white one and then the outside is the hot and that feeds the hot side over here so these two the neutrals in here are attached to each other. See how it comes out the other side? These two we're going to use to attach to the sensor that went to the old thermostat. So I'm going to seal this up and then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the hot wire. And I've done this, I've got white and brown here. So my white is neutral and then my brown will go to hot, which the hot is normally black on AC wiring and we should be good. I'll get back when we're done. All right, so we got her all hooked up, and I wanted to run through the wiring here on this. This is a digital temperature controller. I got this on Amazon. It was less than twenty dollars. I, I actually think it was more like twelve seventy six, and it was shipped. We have Prime on Amazon, so no shipping. So it's a one ten. You can get it in 220 or 12 volts, so make sure you read the description. It goes, it works from minus 58 to 194 degrees. So I actually want to get another one of these and run it in my incubator, but that's a whole nother video. So this one's made in China, and that one's made in USA, so hopefully they get along. But there you go, I found it. This is listed household freezer. Freestanding installation only. Works for me. Okay, so I'm going to set this down and we'll run through these wires. So this one here says load. And that's the blue and the black wire that used to go to the thermostat that 
came from the factory adjusted in this thing. So I just disconnected those wires out there. I pulled them out through the bottom um, and connected them to there. So this is now what tells this thing to turn on and off. These, this brown and white wire, that's the power, that's AC in. Remember the white wire, I hooked to neutral, the brown wire I hooked to hot. And then the sensor, this came with the sensor. Um, so I, when you read in the description, I checked that out too. Mine came with the, the sensor and it doesn't matter which way those are hooked up, the blue and the red. I'll show you what I did. I drilled a hole in the bottom of this thing and I just have that looped up on one of the, the lower coils there. And uh, I'm gonna zip tie that so, so that it's not flopping around or doesn't get caught on anything. So we've got it running now. Um, I'll set that back in place. So that's what it looks like. And it's cooling right off. Uh, I plugged that in, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes ago. And that's, that's where it's at already. Um, it actually drops pretty quick, but I still have the door wide open uh, so I can finish up just a little bit. I will get back to you here in just a little bit and we can check and see where she's at. Thanks. I love it when something works. There it is, it reached my set point at 36 degrees and it shuts itself right off. And it'll actually let itself get up to 38 or 39 before it uh, kicks back on. But you see there's there's a little bit of after cooling. The compressor is already off, but stuff's still flowing a little bit. So now we're down to 35.2. 35. All right, it was a good little project converting a freezer into a refrigerator. I need a full-size refrigerator like this because we have cows and the cows are about to come back into milk, which means we get somewhere between three and four gallons of milk twice a day. So that's a lot of milk and it has to go somewhere. So it takes us a minute to, get, to go through it. So we need a big refrigerator. Take it easy. God bless.